and I'm back with another video. If you're watching this video, that means you made it into 2022. I'm so happy to be here for another year. I'm just grateful to God for my blessings, for everything that he's provided for us and my kids and everything. So with that being said, I'm sure just like you, I've got a lot of goals for myself. I'm so dedicated to making this year one of the best years. Things, you know, every year is supposed to get better. We just gonna get better with time and I'm gonna apply that pressure in all aspects of my life. So that being said, I'm back at you with another video. So in today's video, it's gonna be all about my little baby here. Y'all, if y'all hear all that noise in the background, it's my older son, he's over there playing and his toys make noise. But anyway, say hi, Kai Kai. His name is Kai and he was born in October. So what, this is January now. So he's about to be three months old in a couple of weeks. There was a period of time when he had super bad baby acne. I mean, like there was bumps all over his face. They were like inflamed, like red. And um, he didn't seem bothered by it at all, but they just looked horrible. It just looked really bad, like a rash. I'm going to insert pictures so you can see what his skin looked like and what he recovered from versus what he looks like now. I thought baby acne, he's excited. I thought baby acne was only supposed to be on the baby's face, but he had it so bad that like, I guess he just had an overall sensitive skin. It was all over his arms and his legs. But the pediatrician was like, oh, it's normal. It'll go away. You know, just put some Vaseline on it. And I'm like, that was not gonna help nothing. I know that baby acne usually does go away on its own, but his skin was just so bad. I couldn't just let it stay that way. I started doing research and I started treating it with um, what I felt was best and it actually worked really well. It cleared up his skin. His skin looks really beautiful now. It's clear. You would have never known that his skin looked that bad by the way he looks now. If you're interested in what I use to clear up my baby's acne, then keep on watching. The first product I bought was this Mustela. I used a cotton pack. I used, okay. I used this on him in the morning and the afternoon or throughout the day. Um, as y'all can see, I used almost the whole bottle. Actually, I just went and picked up my second bottle of it because I love it so much. I would follow up with this. This is a, a, a face cream for babies for with extra dry skin. So, you know, I, I didn't know if this stuff was gonna dry him out. So after I applied the cleansing water, I followed up with the cream just to keep his skin moisturized. And after about three days doing that, I didn't notice any difference. I didn't, it didn't look like it was clearing up at all. And I just wanted it to work faster, to be honest. I went back to the drawing board, kept looking up different products. There's so many things that they sell for sensitive skin for babies. But I, I stumbled on this product by the company called Tubby Todd. And y'all, this was the game changer for me. Once I started using this on his skin, that is when I noticed that it started clearing up. A huge difference, like over the course of a couple of days. So I would still use this Mustela throughout the day. And then I would follow up with this this all over ointment instead of the, the Mustela face cream, I would use this. Now, um, like with this product, a little bit goes a long way. You really don't need a lot of it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean his face. This is the Mustela cleansing water. I just take it on a cotton round. Uh, he acts like I'm taking his breath away, but this is what I do. Like gently kind of dab it slash wipe. Hi, it's okay. Everywhere. I'm only doing it on his face now because his body is clear. Make sure to get his face nice and clean with this. So once I finished wiping his face off with this cleansing water, then I go in with the tubby tie all over ointment and a little bit goes a long way. So actually this little dab that I got on my finger, this might be too much. He hates this guys, but 
Just dab it. Just rub it in. He doesn't like this. You're doing good. You're not crying. It's okay. It's okay. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now you got clean skin, baby. Whenever I give him a bath, sometimes I use this Mustela cleansing gel. Um, on his face and on his body, but there were times that I went for this. Dr. Bronner's, this stuff is amazing. This has so many purposes or uh, whatever. They have different scents. I picked up the unscented one for babies and sometimes I bathe him with this and I I do also put this on his face when I bathe him I make sure to like gently like lather it on his face um, and on his body as well I'm breastfeeding the little one and my toddler wants to make a cameo come on say hi Okay. You kiss your brother? Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. I really came on this camera with no makeup, no nothing, looking so plain Jane, but I still feel beautiful. Like, y'all can't tell me nothing. I like to wear makeup every now and then, and I really had to, like, take a step back with the makeup because the makeup seems to get everywhere, and it was getting on my baby's skin, and I think that was also causing him to break out. I really had to be mindful of what I use on myself that would transfer onto him. Every now and then he'll get like a, a bump or two. So I really, I really have to keep up with his skincare regimen, keeping his skin clean, using the products that work for him. If you found this video helpful or useful, hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.